Hey, this is Jason from the Maven Electronic Music Production School in Cambridge, Massachusetts. I'm here with a quick tip for you guys using Ableton Live. So I wanted to show an alternative way of fading tracks in and out. So I have the start of a track here with a basic build up into a drop. So let me just play that for you here. All right, so say I want to fade this clap in. The standard way of drawing automation would just be to go over to the volume move this little fader here, make sure you're looking at mixer track volume, and just draw in some volume automation. So I can do that now. Just pull this down. So this will work. This will fade the clap in. I'll just play a little bit. And it fades the clap in. But now say I decide I want to raise the overall volume of the clap track. Well, if I go grab my volume now, it will turn the clap up, but it's going to turn off that automation. So I've sort of tied my hands. I have to, you know, adjust the automation and I just find it a little bit frustrating. So what I like to do is use the utility for fade ins. So let me just delete this automation and um, go over here and grab my utility plugin and throw that on the clap. So now if I go down into the rack and I click on the gain, make sure I'm looking at utility gain, I can now draw in the fade on the utility. So if I do this, it still fades in but I have independent control over the track volume. So I could, you know, set the track volume and independently work on my fade. And you can do this on any track. So if I wanted to fade this bass in, grab my utility, put it on the bass, activate the automation for the gain knob, double check, yep, utility gain. And now I can just draw a fade in. So this will fade the bass in, but I still have control over my track volume. So I can set the track volume and work on the fade in independently. All right, so hopefully that will help you guys out and make you a little more efficient in Ableton Live. Thanks.